what's going on YouTube, I device help here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run a copy of Windows 7 remotely on your iPad. Uh, and what I mean by that, say you're traveling and you need to access any files on your computer. And you can you can run Windows 7 uh, virtually or remotely, however you want to call it. The application is called Teen Viewer. Uh, most of you guys probably heard of this before. So what you want to do is go ahead and grab it. It's free in the Apple App Store. It's good to send files, edit files, email people, and access photos and other content on your PC. Now, your PC must be connected uh, to a Wi-Fi network at your home or wherever it's located. It must be connected at a network connection at all times, and uh, it must be on standby mode. So when you're traveling, you access it on your iPad via uh, a data service network, uh, for my case, Verizon, and, um, or Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have a, a the link down below, the video description down below, I'll have a link to TeamViewer. Uh, you can go ahead and download it. It's a free download as well on your PC. Uh, I'm running uh, Windows 7 here on my Mac. Um, so let's go ahead and go ahead and download it and set it up. You're going to get the application. You're going to go ahead and launch it. Right there it is. So I'm going to launch it on my iPad as well. Now right here on the screen I got my, it automatically creates a user ID and a password. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in my iPad here quick to access control, to have control of my uh, computer. So here it is. It's really simple, guys. It's really, really useful, and also it's free. So guys should really, really try it out. So there it is. I typed it in. Remote control. So now it's getting access on my iPad. So you can see right there's Windows 7 running on my iPad. So you can see on my on my Mac, I got the Windows 7 as well. See how you move the mouse around. I'm going to launch an application here. Go ahead and uh, scroll down to, to a Safari here and launch it. So you got the mouse, you can either click this mouse button here to launch Safari. There you go. Boom. So Safari on the computer. Now it also plays out Flash content. I was surprised to see that it plays out Flash content. So let's say, let's go, uh, here, let's control, let's see. Let's go into YouTube. So you can see it's doing the exact same thing. As you can see, the Flash content on the, on the PC right here, it's also playing on the iPad. Now Flash is no more developed for mobile devices. And uh, everybody's moving uh, towards uh, HTML5. But uh, if you do uh, like some of the Flash contests, now games don't really uh, go as good, Flash games. But you can pretty much access your email, your photos, your file system. Um, you have your keyboard option. Also, if you tap up here on the top, you get another option for the, uh, for the uh, Windows uh, F1, 2, 3, the typical keyboard. So you tap it again, then you go to your standard uh, keyboard. Go ahead and hide that. So I'm going to go ahead and close Safari out. And that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple. You just download the application Team Viewer on your PC. Keep it on standby if you're traveling out and about. Make sure you have a, a you know, a Wi-Fi connection on your computer. And make sure you have a data connection on your uh, tablet. And also supports iPhone and iPod Touches. Uh, this is a really cool, quick video for you guys on how to run Windows 7 on your iPad remotely. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy videos like this. Please thumbs up if you do. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And also, um, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you have any questions. And check out my new Facebook fan page and my blog. I'm always posting new information as well if you want to go ahead and check that out. So it's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.